We have, in some sense, a great health care system, miraculous. We also have our share of very big problems. Uh, the same care that allows us to work miracles for patients introduces hazards in care. So now, injuries from care, they're, they're very, very common, uh, very high risks. We have literature that says that one out of every six people that goes into a hospital gets a complication from their care, not, not, from, not from their disease. And costs. Our costs are nearly double the cost of care in any other country in the world. We're spending 17% of our gross domestic product on health care. Other countries are uh, about half of that. And the care is, outcomes appear just about as good as ours. Maybe we're a little better, but not double. We really are interdependent now. No individual doctor alone takes care of a patient. It's all a team. And, and this ability to work all together. Well, I wasn't trained for that. We're not trained that way. The systems aren't set up that way. Most of healthcare today still doesn't even use computers, a computerized record. So we're writing things down like it was the 19th century. And therefore, we're not really configured for the kind of seamlessness that we really could achieve if we, if, if we were truly modern. The way I think about Medicare's approach to improvement for better care, better health, and lower costs through improvement is uh, in three basic areas. There's care of people when they're sick. The second area is seamless care. It's chronic care, and that's where the accountable care organizations fit in. Accountable care organization is payment for the care of a population. There's bundled payment. That's payment for an episode. So hospital, we're happy to pay you to put in this artificial hip in the patient that needs it, but how about we pay you for the artificial hip and the next 90 days. So now, complications, rehabilitation, they all become interesting to you because that's what you're now being asked to produce, the whole episode. That changes the whole game, and now hospitals get much more interested in late complications. And the third area is prevention. A tremendous amount of what makes us sick, we could avoid. We can avoid it with healthy habits and not smoking and eating properly and exercising. And, all, and there's a lot of investments now in the Affordable Care Act and elsewhere in helping foster community-based preventive activities. In addition, clinical prevention, which is between you and your doctor or you and your nurse. There's all sorts of stuff you can do to stay well. So better care when you're sick, seamless care if you've got a, something you're living with, and prevention. Th those are all now very active areas of work in Medicare.